Corinthium Sheni, 2 Corinthians 9. For as touching the ministering to the Kodeshim, it is superfluous for me to write to you. For I know the frowardness of your mind, for which I boast of you to them of Macedonia, that Achaia was ready a year ago, and your zeal has provoked very many. Yet have I sent the brethren, lest our boasting of you should be in vain in this behalf, that, as I said, ye may be ready. Lest haply if they of Macedonia come with me, and find you unprepared, we, that we say not ye, should be ashamed in this same confident boasting. Therefore I thought it necessary to exhort the brethren that they would go before unto you, and make up beforehand your bounty, whereof ye had notice before, that the same might be ready as a matter of bounty, and not as of covetousness. But this I say, he which sows sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which sows bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposes in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for Yah loves a cheerful giver. And Yahweh is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye, also having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. As it is written, He has dispersed abroad, He has given to the poor. His righteousness remains forever. Now he that ministers seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food, and multiply your seed sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness, being enriched in everything to all bountifulness, which causes through us thanksgiving to Yahweh. For the administration of this service not only supplies the want of the Kodashim, but is abundant also by many thanksgivings unto Yahweh. While by the experiment of this ministration they glorify Yah for your professed subjection unto the Besorah of Hamashiach and for your liberal distri distribution unto them and unto all men and by their prayer for you, which long after you for the exceeding grace of Yahweh in you. Thanks be unto Yahweh for his unspeakable gift.